Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the great World War II was at its peak. So on September 11th, 1943, 28-year-old Sandy Thompson left her teaching job and volunteered for the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, better known as the WASP. As a pilot, she towed, towed targets for live anti-aircraft practice, helped deliver planes to overseas bases, and tested new aircraft. Of the 1,000 women who were WASP, 38 were killed in their missions. Sixteen of these unsung, unsung heroes still live in Texas, and these pilots this generation. WASP were considered civilians until 1977, then Congress granted them veteran status. In 2002, WASPs were allowed to be cremated and have their ashes placed in Arlington National Cemetery. But now, Mr. Speaker, bureaucrats have decided these veterans are not worthy of a proper military burial, burial and have revoked burial rights in Arlington. The reason, they say, lack of space. This is disgraceful. A lack of space is a sorry excuse to dishonor these veterans. Mr. Speaker, the government owns 23 percent of the land mass in the United States find space to permanently honor these female veterans. And that's just the way it is.